this is Donna Reiners. How are you? Today is Thursday and it is a new day. A new day. It's a new day, I tell you. It's time for a new day. Time, 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 time for a new day. And I'm thankful for it. Thankful for it. Thankful for it. Thankful for it. I hope you're thankful for a new day. So I have a little bit of message I wanna share with you today. This is the thing. I've been thinking about what it takes to quote unquote break through, to quote unquote uh, go after that next thing that you wanna do. And I've been thinking about the theme for the conference I'm going to this year in Ohio called Igniting Souls Conference. And the theme is your next step, your next best step. And I've been chewing on that. So this is the thing. What is it that you want to do? Whatever it is, it requires that you take one step, not a hundred steps, one step. What if the thing you want to do is very intimidating? a skill set you haven't yet developed. You're not gonna just jump into it, rarely, but you're gonna take one step to learn that skill, one step to move forward in that direction. What if you're at home, shut down, nobody knows, you're not going anywhere, you're not doing anything, nobody knows, that you're basically in bed most of the time. What you gonna do? You gonna go get a job tomorrow and just keep on trucking? Probably not, probably not. What do you need to do? You need to take your next step. Your next step might be going to get up and brush your teeth and get dressed and brush your hair and wash the dishes and <laughs> decide you're a human being again. That might be your next step. You've gotta take your next step. Maybe you need to make your bed on a daily basis. Uh, wash your clothes on a daily basis. Maybe you need to clean your body on a daily basis. Listen, there's always one next step for wherever it is you're headed, whether you're in bed, or whether you're in a job, you wanna go do a different job, or whether you want new friendships or whatever. I just wanna strengthen you today to take your next step, your next step. Because let me tell you something, I would rather take one step, one step that's mine, one step that's mine, then take a hundred steps and get kicked back 50 steps because I wasn't ready for the responsibility and the pressure that comes with taking those hundred steps. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, take the next step for you. Decide what it is. Decide what is the best thing for you to do next. But I encourage you not to take a thousand steps in a direction that you're unfamiliar with and find yourself in the middle of an ocean and not able to swim. Instead, take the next step and let that step be yours. Own that step so that that ground is yours, so that that attitude is yours, so that new um, feeling is yours. If you're moving from being angry to getting yourself in a place where you don't lose your temper as much, you might want, not want to hang out with a thousand angry people. Maybe you just get around one. Just one. If you are addicted to something, you don't want to take yourself and put yourself in a place where you're surrounded with people that are addicted to the very thing you want free from, right? It's called wisdom. If you're gonna be on a diet, you don't go into the candy store and expect yourself to leave without some gum. Come on. So listen, I wanna encourage you to take your next step, the next step of freedom for you. And it may not look the same way for you as it does somebody else. Somebody else might have just, woo, got off of drugs just like that. Well, hallelujah, I'm happy for them. But it doesn't happen to everybody like that. And so don't you feel condemned if your freedom looks different than somebody else's, right? This is Donna Reiners. I bless you. I'm telling you, freedom is yours. 
Your future does not have to look like your past. Until soon, this is Donna Reiners. Bye-bye.